Legacy, SCP, Cryptid Clash Closed Beta Packs, Comic Beastie Container Cache, Third Anniversary, Native Streamer Kiss, the special gold hollow NFT version that came with the Valentine's Day Mothman plushie. That's what I remember off the top of my head and see on the marketplace that were pre-orders that are currently outstanding. This is from Chartreuse3686 over on my video, Is MetaZoo Running Away With Customer Money? The native streamer kit question. I'm gonna put a link to that video down the in the end screen of this video. And it's been just amazing to hear everyone's comments and and hearing about all of these pre-order products that are not fulfilled. I'm guessing some of this stuff I feel like are aren't some of these things that made it maybe came out before, like the Valentine's Day Mothman plushie. Like Valentine's Day was forever ago. Is that still an outstanding product? Is it just that some people didn't get some of that stuff? I know that there is pre-order money that is still outstanding because I ordered a MetaZoo native streamer kit, one, just one, which is a little bit over $100 with tax and shipping. There was a letter put out by MetaZoo signed, I, I believe, by Mike Waldell. You can find this letter on a ton of different MetaZoo videos about it. Pete Door TCG is a great response video. I recommend going going to check out his video on it. And the big question for me, why am I making this video? Why I made that last video is, okay, so that letter suggested that MetaZoo was immediately closing operations and there was no reference or information given about, well, what's going to happen to people, to the, to the money that people put in to pre-order items that are, it is assumed will no longer be being made. There have not been automatic refunds. I didn't get a refund for my MetaZoo native streamer kit. Now, if you go look over on that video, you can see in the comments section some stories and anecdotes about different things people are dealing with. Some people are doing chargebacks. Markers V, who I referenced as uh, being the individual who bought $1,100 worth of native streamer kits, 11 streamer kits, did respond to my video that he got his money back after several emails and uh, threats about going to small claims court. And only after that did he get a refund with interest. I'm glad he got his money back. It is obvious that not everyone is getting their money back for pre-orders, at least with that product. And I didn't pre-order Legacy or SCP. So I don't know how many people got money back, got their money back by emailing, by threatening to go to court or whatever, and how many people did not. I'm assuming that they are kind of at this point running away with whatever money happened to come from people who haven't emailed or said anything or demanded the money back. And, you know, for me, I can move forward without my $100, but I have to make another video about it because, because here's the thing, TCG player, when they slashed the Hello Kitty collectors boxes by 50%, I... I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, that they just like automatically refunded people their 50%. If they paid $300 for it, they got 150 back. They just said, look, we're slashing at 150. Here's your, your refund. It doesn't appear that MetaZoo is reaching out to people who pre-ordered and are not going to receive their products. I'm guessing they're not going to receive the product, right? That's that's what I'm I'm trying to say in these videos. There's not been an address about that. If you're going to make a letter and put it out and say the entire company is closed, operations are ceasing, there is a generic statement in it. And by the way, this letter was apparently removed. So that's another more on that in a second. That's another twist in the tale. They said in the letter something to the effect of more information will be coming out of the discord. Information about what? About the closure, about pre-orders. It doesn't say specifically. But how irresponsible to state that and not even say like it feels to me like isn't that just like a no-brainer look we have all these customers waiting for these products that will no longer be be being made or we have all these this pre-order money here what do we do with that they know one way or another what they're doing with it are they running away with the money or do they have plans to refund that money and or at least finish out those products as they close things down. To me, this is a mega sign of the immense incompetence of this trading card game, the management behind it, the company. Because how do you have those factors in play and put out a letter like that and it doesn't even occur to you to say, look, 
as this is happening, we want to address the fact that there are outstanding pre-orders and or products that were pre-ordered and that it is reasonable that some people might have, that a lot of people might have questions about, well, what's going to happen regarding that stuff that's in, in the air? Why not say, look, we have a plan about that. We will release information soon. We are wanting to make sure that's cool. Why say nothing? Put out that letter, letter and just let people just, you know, throw their arms up in the air. Like, what's going on? I mean, the most unprofessional, incompetent thing that I think I've ever seen come out of MetaZoo Games. And that's saying something because, man, the, the decisions from the management behind the company of this game have been astronomically bad, just horrendous. I mean, this is the game that is supposed to, you know, bring in something new to the TCG space, be a real contender, be a worldwide phenomenon in the TCG space with these problems. What does that say about the TCG space? MetaZoo is an embarrassment if this is What's going on? If this is what is normalized, if this is what people are memeing and joking about and having a good time around, and this is what the core of the conversation, the TCG space is, the questions that I'm seeing, aside from the comments I'm getting on my videos and comments I'm seeing elsewhere on other people's videos, you know, on the YouTube space, a lot of the videos are about, is MetaZoo a product still going to be investable, right? Are people going to What's going to happen to the prices of the products? Or will it be bought out? What's the future from here? There are a couple of great videos I've seen coming out that are real exceptions to this. There's a video by Dungeons and Choy Pads giving the partner perspective. And there's a video by Dueling Brothers, the Dueling Brothers, I forget which one it is, that talks also about the, the partner perspective. I'll put both of those videos in the description below. It's very interesting to, to hear that partner story and get that kind of inside or look that I never had. I've been making MetaZoo for videos for two years. I've had, I was on board at the beginning and, you know, I turned critical uh, along the way, but I never knew, you know, all that stuff was, was going on. You know, I, I was never like a partner or an affiliate or anything. I got a content creator medal at one point. That was awesome. It's crazy to hear, you know, I've always tried to be real careful about what I hear on YouTube and, you know, this stuff's kind of hearsay and you want to be careful with talking about individual, you know, people on the internet and things. And, you know, I think... You got to be really careful with that because it's murky territory. But at this point, seeing the pre-order stuff, it's just like, it just, for me, it feels like it affirms a lot of the stuff I've been hearing. And it's just like, really? The incompetence, the immorality, it's on, you know, the, uneth the unethical business here going on, at least at the pre-order stuff, because I can attest to that because I pre-ordered a native streamer kit and have heard nothing about it. And now they're Put out a letter that said they're closing operations. Here's a twist in that tale. Argos Anonymous put out a video that apparently they pulled the letter. And people are commenting in the in the comments below that video. You know, what happened? Why did they pull the letter? And to me, it's so distasteful to see people memeing and joking about, oh, is this a prank? You know, is this a great publicity stunt? You know, is this a publicity stunt by MetaZoo? And I mean, like I understand, you know humor and jokes in the face of this kind of, you know, people use that to kind of help kind of cope and uh, deal with things. And I understand that, you know, like serious humor in the face of serious things. But can you imagine if they, if this was actually in, in a, a publicity stunt and they came around and were like, oh, that was just a joke. You know, we were, you mean, oh, or they don't even admit it was a joke. They just say, oh, you know, we changed our mind. We were able to uh, just change ownership and we're going to keep continuing on now. And as a result of that letter, however, all these people are dumping their collections and price and, and prices are just cratering. And then I'm sure people will will come out of the, the woodwork and, you know, the, the hopefuls in the MetaZoo, MetaZoo community and just be like, what a great move that was, right? MetaZoo to the moon. Man, this, this is just the greatest. I mean, it's just insane at this point, the, the shenanigans of this company. What are they going to do about like these pre-orders, right? And now they pulled the letter. And I saw there was some speculation maybe it was for legal reasons because people are using, people were commenting on, on that video that, uh, I think I got a comment about that on one of my videos too, that people could look to that letter for chargebacks and they wanted to stop the chargebacks. I don't know. It, you know, there's a lot of discussion around it right now, but the facts are that there ha are people who have pre-ordered various items. 
one or multiple and maybe one product or several products. And now it appears that MetaZoo is closing down and there's some hope that maybe someone will buy the company, but that doesn't answer the question of what happens to pre-order money and the pro or and or the products that were pre-ordered. So for me, I feel like, you know, everything else aside, what I wanted to come out and talk about and make sure is heard and understood is that something should be communicated, right? You know, if pre-orders are going to be refunded, say that, you know, say we're, we're looking into that or that's a possibility, or we understand there are pre-ordered things and we want to figure out how we can assuage this, how we can fix this, right? And, or, you know, if they're looking at completing the product, say that, you know, we're, we're hoping to at least maintain enough operations to fulfill these remaining orders. And if neither of those are possible, if the reason they said nothing about it is that they don't have money and they're filing for bankruptcy, if that is the case, I think that should be said too. Look, we understand that people have pre-ordered certain items, but those items aren't going to be made and we don't have the money to fulfill those refunds. And we are looking into bankruptcy and we will be announcing further developments. I mean, at the very least do that, right? If it's not bankruptcy, then you owe this money back or you owe these products being fulfilled. And if you're running away with this money or just trying to forget about the whole thing, that's wrong. I'm not coming out here and bashing MetaZoo and I'm not making videos saying, haha, you know, I did my closure video. I'm not making fun of people who, you know, really believed in it and wanted it to work or, you know, have hope for the future. And I only bought one native streamer kit and I know that other people have too. And there have been different experiences about how that's been handled. But I know that that situation is not resolved. And I feel that maybe MetaZoo runs away with this money and gets away with that, but they shouldn't. They should do what's right and fix it. And at least if there is a plan to do that, if there's knowledge about doing that, effectively communicate that, right? Send out emails. I think Discord is not a great communication platform. I think that if you're if you're following a TCG and they're extremely insistent about being in the Discord to get any kind of information or communication, you should run away as fast as possible. I have a brother who has used Discord playing World of Warcraft, right? To keep up with raids. I see, you know, the utility of it. But there's something not right if, you know, there's a whole culture coming out of a Discord presence and things happening in that Discord. I feel like it is affecting audiences in negative ways. And if you're a professional company, you should be able to send out emails. That's how I found out about some of this pre-order stuff. They send an email, hey, this thing, this product is live, come buy it. Communicate your letters via email your, to people who have signed up for your newsletter on your website. I, I haven't seen any emails since I signed up for that newsletter. You know, that should be a standard business practice to use an email newsletter. Most businesses don't rely on a Discord and pressure people to come into it or else be branded as, you know, uninformative people, you know, come, oh, you're, you're not in the discord. You don't know what's going on. I shouldn't have to be in the discord. You're a legit company and you're promising you're going to be insinuating that you're going to be this big time thing and, and people should get on board. You shouldn't have to be in the discord for that. If you're that big, you don't need to be in discord. That's, that's the most, that's, that's another one of those just negative things about MetaZoo that you can go on about, but I'm not even going to go, go on about it. Right? Like I want to move on. I want to do videos on other things. I know not everyone's enjoying this MetaZoo closure content. I don't know if some people are sick of MetaZoo at this point, or they don't want to hear the negativity around the MetaZoo, or they don't want to, to confront it. You know, they're not able to kind of digest it right now. Maybe it's so shocking to them. But I feel like it's appropriate, again, because I ordered a native streamer kit, so I'm right there in the thick of it. I understand the situation as someone who has pre-ordered something, and then it's like, oh, what happened to that thing? What What's happening now? It's just like others in that situation too. and. I wanted to make a video and say it's wrong and they should fix it and they should communicate something. And if they can't do it because they're bankrupt, say it so people can move on and they know. And at least you address that you don't have the money to do it and you can't do it and that you are taking responsibility for that. I think that MetaZoo is a tremendous stain on the TCG space as a result of this situation with outstanding pre-orders. It's okay for a card game to fail. It's okay for a business to fail. It's okay for people to make mistakes, right? If they've learned from it and they're able to, to make it whole or 
or do something good out of that and find penance in some way. But right now, I think this situation with the pruders needs to be resolved. People shouldn't have to do chargebacks to get the money back. People shouldn't have to email actively over and over again and suggest going to small claims court to get their money back. That's a question too. Like I've been kind of holding out, maybe they'll deliver them in the first quarter because they put out this thing the other day about their 2024 roadmap. And the first quarter of that was product backlog. Like what what's going to happen to the product backlog now? Maybe it was always in the plans to go ahead and finish those. And the letter was pulled. Maybe we'll hear more. But at the very least, communicate that before you put out a letter saying that the company is closing down and say nothing about it. And if you just don't feel that people are entitled to know, if you feel too prideful about that, then that's a problem. And you're somehow too personally invested in your business. And it should just be a business, right? And you're trying to do right by your customers. So communicate what's going on and just let people know and do what is responsible and right from a business perspective.